this article, we summarize the current knowledge of functional hypothalamic amenorrhea, focus on its pathophysiology and the long-term health consequences, as well as provide recommendations for the diagnosis and management of this condition. We also emphasize the gaps in research on this common condition impacting women of reproductive age all over the world. I am Mariam Saadeddin, a postdoctoral women's health research fellow at Mayo Clinic in Florida. I am here to discuss our concise review that will be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Functional Hypothalamic Amenorrhea, Recognition and Management of a Challenging Diagnosis. The takeaway message of this article is that functional hypothalamic amenorrhea is a common yet under-recognized and under-researched condition. Although functional hypothalamic amenorrhea contributes to a third of the cases of secondary amenorrhea, original research publications on this condition have been minimal in the past decade. Functional hypothalamic amenorrhea occurs due to one or a combination of the following culprits. Psychological stress, excessive exercise, or disordered eating. It is a diagnosis of exclusion after ruling out pregnancy and differential diagnoses such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, primary ovarian insufficiency, thyroid dysfunction, and hyperprolactinemia. In the process of establishing a diagnosis, it is important to obtain a complete medical history from the patients, including a review of dietary and exercise habits, changes in weight, and an assessment of psychological stress. A pattern of low estrogen, normal testosterone, and low follicle-stimulating hormone FSH and luteinizing hormone LH levels, specifically low LH to FSH ratio, is supportive of the diagnosis. Although amenorrhea and infertility are the hallmark clinical features of FHA, FHA, the disorder is a complex neuroendocrinopathy that impacts the function of multiple systems, including bone, psychological, and cognitive and cardiovascular health. Here at the Mayo Clinic, this concise review will serve as a guide for clinicians to better recognize and manage functional hypothalamic amenorrhea. It will also spread awareness about the unseen health consequences of this condition. This concise review highlights the important point that functional hypothalamic amenorrhea should not be thought of as a normal reaction to stress, excessive exercise, or disordered eating. It is a complex condition that carries an increased risk of several health consequences, and therefore, healthcare providers should be proactive in managing this condition by educating patients and referring them to specialists for intensive lifestyle modifications to replace the maladaptive behaviors related to caloric intake and physical activity. Also, when feasible, cognitive behavioral therapy should be incorporated into the treatment plan to improve coping mechanisms with stress. Most women are not asked about their menstrual cycle, and this review recognizes that functional hypothalamic amenorrhea is an important and prevalent condition in young women. This is important for patients because it validates their concerns about their menstrual cycle and considers the menstrual cycle as a vital sign for these women. As I previously mentioned, functional hypothalamic amenorrhea is a largely under-researched condition in women's health. Here at the Mayo Clinic, Dr. Chrysandra Schufold, the senior author and professor and the chair of the Division of General Internal Medicine and associate director of the Women's Health Research Center, is leading the research in this field. Through her research, it has been identified that one in every three women with functional hypothalamic amenorrhea have vascular dysfunction. She's currently recruiting patients to phenotype which underlying cause of functional hypothalamic amenorrhea may be associated with adverse cardiovascular health. In addition, Mayo Clinic is establishing a first-of-its-kind data registry of women with functional hypothalamic amenorrhea aimed at understanding the long-term health consequences as they relate to risk, prognosis, and recurrence. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content 
is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.